the good Lord controls the rain that we get. But it's up to us on what we do with it. I'm Tim Woodward, an agronomist with Virginia Seed Company. So we're here in Virginia today on a number of farm operations that are implementing cover crops to better manage that rainfall and to make best use out of that water. They're finding increased yield and profitability. My name is Grayson Kirby with Creamfield Farm, Studley, Virginia. We are 100% cover crop across all of our acres. This field we're walking in is at the home farm. It's a uh, mid-group four soybean planted in mid-May. Ahead of it was a rye cover crop that we terminated uh, prior to planting. After planting, we, we needed rain in a bad way. It was very dry, very hot. A lot of the rain that we get in the summer months come in the form of a thunderstorm. From rainfall to getting into the soil, we want to capture as much water as we possibly can. Cover crops can greatly improve and give us better opportunities to capture all that water. Cover crops improve water holding capacity in the soil by improving the microbial life within the soil. But one of the functions that it does is actually improve soil structure. And that improvement to soil structure creates these little pockets or pores for water to be held. So our objective is to make that, I look at it as a cup, as big as possible so that when our plant needs it, it's there. The past few years we've been focusing on some vetch cover, which has been holding moisture in, especially on a year like this year, when margins are gonna be tight because of the dry weather and heat, we hope to really come ahead because of the inputs that we have in the crop. Let them work for us, and hopefully in the end, we can come out more profitable. 2024 is going to be a challenging year for agriculture here in Virginia. We're looking at ways of breaking even and trying to eke a profit out and reduce losses. I'm Jamie Shank. I manage Beauregard Farms here in Brandy Station, Virginia. We comprise over 2,000 acres of row crops that we implement 100% cover crops on. This particular field is corn on corn. I came in here after harvesting the third year of corn and planted rye and vetch. The rye gave me some ability to cover my ground in the fall, scavenge the excess nutrients. As we terminated our rye in the spring, our vetch took off and it produced a large amount of nitrogen for our corn crop. So this cover crop allowed us to retain more water, reducing runoff and increasing infiltration rate. And it'll also allow us to expand our water holding capacity to where we could contain more water. I cannot control things like heat stress that we've gone through, but I have improved this crop's potential by the cover crops that we planted before. Cover crops reduce evaporation from the soil by the presence of a mulch layer. So it's really important that we have a mulch layer that covers the top of the ground so it's not bare ground. Uh, my name is Tom Nixon. My farming operation is uh, Glenmary Farm. We've been doing cover crops 25, 30 years. Our farm has been a big test plot. We try a lot of different things. We have a lot of successes, we have a lot of failures. And so we want to continue to explore these different things and, and try to see what works the best for us. We intensively track all the fields at the Nixon's farm, basically from the middle part of May to the end of May through into July, it didn't have anything. And that's a critical time for corn. However, this crop looks extremely good. It can look better, but we're really happy with where it's at right now. The reason we got into cover crops in the first place was because we knew one of our most limiting factors at some point in the season, typically multiple times in the season, was lack of moisture and moisture stress. And so that's what ultimately led us to cover crops. 
because we had the cover crop in this field, we were able to preserve those extra couple inches that allowed that plant to get through that stress somewhat unscathed. We're standing here at the pumpkin patch farm that the Nixon family farms. We're about two miles from the Stoltz farm. This farm has been extremely productive for us in the past, but this year it had to be tilled and the corn has fallen on its face. This is showing us the difference between where we had cover crop and where we didn't. This year has been tough. The drought has affected a lot of operations from North Carolina all the way up into Pennsylvania. The cover crops will not eliminate all of that drought stress, but it can greatly reduce just how severe the stress is on our crops. So if you have any questions, please reach out to Sustainable Chesapeake or Virginia Seed Company. We are here to help.